Hi everybody, Robert here. In this exercise, this is the final to our uh, inventor exercise. So right here, this is a drawing. And to create this drawing from that piece we made, you notice these are all the views we had. So from this point, we're going to go jump into inventor. And to do the first thing we want to do here, we want to, we've got our part assembly. We've done these two. We've done a presentation. Now let's select drawing. So once we're in our drawing, we'll go up here into place views and we'll place a view and we'll select the view that we want to place, which is that one, and we'll say open. And then once it's placed in the drawing, we can drag this up here to get a projected, get a, a projected view. Then we can bring this guy over and get a 3D view. And then I want to just say OK here. So there's our three base views, our, our main views. So from this point, uh, we can go in here and we do a few other things. Like I want to cut a section through here. So I'll just select section. And we'll select this view. And we'll drag a line right through here. And go up, make a point here, and go up, and just right click and say continue and then we'll drag this section right about here okay next we'll go and get and grab our uh, exploded view and we'll put it here so to do that I'll just go and um, and I'll search for it here and I think it was, let's see which one was it? There it is. So we'll select that one, open it, and we'll place him probably right about there. Oops, sorry. I'm going to do that. Oops. Try that one more time here. Sorry, folks. I got something coming up. Okay, now let's go try that one more time. Let's go base. And I want to select our exploded view. I'm going to open it. And I'll just place it right there. And then I'll say OK. Now once I have it here, I can, I can drag this guy and move it. So I'm going to move him right about here. OK, so from this point, we want to go and do I show us some, do some dimensions. So we'll just select annotate here. And then I want to do a chain. So to do a chain, you just select this one, this one, this one. Right click and continue. And then just drag that out. And it's done. Oh, sorry. Let me try that one more time. Okay. Chain is kind of tricky. You want it to be like AutoCAD or Revit. It, it's kind of is, but not really. Okay, that's there. And I think I created. Okay. And then let's go here and do the, some of these elevation dimensions. I'm not going to go through all of these because uh, it's pretty simple. Okay, I missed that one. So let me go here again. Let's just go. Let's do our regular dimension then. And that little dialog box will pop up. So I'm going to go back to chain. And I'll go and right click continue. And I'll pull these out and line them up right about here. And I'll say continue. Create. So there's those dimensions. And OK, now here we probably want another view here. I'm sorry, I forgot about this. But I don't want to have to make this video over. I want to move this up. And then I want to select this view here. I want to select this view. And I want to project from here. There we go. So we'll get that other view. And we'll pick up the these dimensions going in this direction. 
just a few here. I mean, you don't have to get that detail with this. I mean, depending on, you know, this is just the workflow for uh, creating a drawing from the parts we made. So next we'll go and do our, uh, these di diameters. So that be able to just pick this guy here, dimension. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do, we want to put our parts list in. So to do that, you'll just select parts list here. And this should pick up everything here. Okay, I want to go and select parts only right here. It'll never be numeric. Get canceled out of that. I'm sorry here. There's our parts list. And so now once you do that and the item numbers are selected, we can go here and we can select balloon. And we can go and pick each one of these parts. And I'll go with that one there. Let's do that one. So that's it, folks, basically. This is how you create your drawing from the model that we created. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is just the workflow, and I think these were five videos. So if you go to the beginning, you can create this drawing. I say, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, it helps me make videos like this every day. Until then, I'll see you in the next video in Inventor. Please subscribe, bye.